All right, so we've been talking a lot about derivatives, and uh, we talked about the alternate definition. So let's go ahead and start talking about some uh, derivative notation. So there are a bunch of different ways of uh, indicating the derivative. So if you have a function y equals f of x, then if you want to talk about the derivative function, then um, you know the one we've been looking at all this time is uh, f prime of x. Okay, you can say f prime of x. Um, that's the same thing as saying y primed, or you could say y prime of x. All right. Or, um, this is the kind of new one here, you could say uh, df dx. <clears throat> so this means uh, the derivative of f with respect to x. And uh, it's not pronounced df over dx, so some people say that, but it's technically not correct. Um, people will know what you mean when you say that, but it's technically pronounced uh, df dx. So here, this is the same thing uh, as dy dx, all right, um, because the function is y equals f of x. So if this were g instead of f, then you know this would be dg dx, this would be g prime of x, etc, etc. Um, anyway, continuing, uh, dy dx, and this is the same thing as d dx of f of x. Okay, so that's d dx of f of x. Um, or you could say d dx of y. So again, that's not d over dx, that's just uh, d dx. <coughs> um, it looks like I forgot to write one here, but you could also just say uh, f primed and not f prime of x. So that's all the same thing as this. So f prime of x, f primed, y primed, y prime of x, df dx, dy dx, d dx of f of x, and d dx of y, uh, it's all the same thing <coughs> if you're talking about the derivative as a function. Okay? So, uh, you know, if you're saying, all right, given this function f of x, find f prime of x, it's just the same thing as saying find df dx or find dy dx. Uh, and so on. So that's for the derivative as a function. Um, what about the derivative at a point? So for the derivative at a point, uh, we have this stuff here. So we've actually already seen this f prime to c, but you could also say uh, y prime of c, alright, because the function is y equals f of x, so we could say that. Uh, and this one is the kind of new one here. You could say uh, df dx evaluated at x equals c. So this long vertical bar means evaluated at. So this just means find the derivative of f with respect to x, and then uh, evaluate it at x equals c. So just plug in c for x. Um, and then we could also say uh, dy dx evaluated at x equals c. All right. So um, there's four different ways of expressing the derivative at a point. So there are a few other ways um, that are maybe less common. Uh, or maybe used uh, in later courses after Calculus 1. But um, if you want to know more details, uh, Wikipedia actually has a pretty good article on this uh, derivative notation, so you can check that out. Um, there is one other point worth mentioning, though. Uh, here we're talking about <clears throat> we have a function y equals f, excuse me, f of x. So if the variable is t instead of x, then you know this all still applies, but um, let's go ahead and see what kind of differences we would have. Um, f of t, so this would be t now instead of x. So what would that change? Uh, this x would become a t, uh, this x would become a t, df dx would be df dt, uh, dy dx would be dy dt, d dx of f of x would be d dt of f of t, and this would be uh, d dt of y. Um, and of course, this would also change to a t, this would change to a t, and these x's would also become t's. All right. So, um, you know, we're just going to change that because our variable is now t instead of x. But um, I chose the variable t because I want to point out that if your variable is t, there's actually another type of notation that you could use, um, and that's a dot notation. So we could also say uh, this. So we could say um, f with a dot above it. All right. um, that's the same thing as all this stuff here. This only works if your variable is t, though. Okay, if your variable isn't t, if it's anything else, um, it's technically not correct to say that. Okay. So uh, this right here, this is called Newton notation. And again, there's more details on the, uh, the Wikipedia article. But uh, So this is the same thing as f dot of t, or you could also just say y dot, or uh, y dot of t. All right. So this all represents uh, derivatives with respect to t. So these are all equal to each other. And uh, you can also 
use these original ones from here. So if your variable is t, then all of these mean exactly the same thing. All right. And if your variable is not t, uh, then all of these work except for these four up here. So uh, that's pretty much derivative notation. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about notation and uh, higher order derivatives. So let's go ahead and see that.